Hello and welcome to Chartmill. My name is Christoph. I'm one of the co-founders of Chartmill. And in this video, I'm going to discuss two very popular concepts within technical analysis, being the golden and dead cross. Both patterns are created by combining two simple moving averages. So let's dive right into the stock screener so I can show you a little bit more about this topic. As you may already know, such a moving average is just a visual representation of the average price for the underlying ASIC over a predetermined period of time. So an SMA10 will thus represent the average price calculated over the last 10 periods, while an SMA20 is calculated over the last 20 periods. Those periods can be weeks, days, hours or even minutes, depending on the time frame of the chart used. If you're not familiar yet with the concept of moving averages, I would highly recommend you to read the basic articles that are available in our documentation section under the Technical Indicators tab. I will also provide some direct links to the comment section below this video. The golden and dead cross always arise from a combination of two specific moving averages, being the 50 and the 200 simple moving average. Now, a golden cross is created by the combination of the 50 and the 200 simple moving average as shown in this chart. The 50 SMA is then considered the short term moving average, where the 200 SMA represents the long term moving average. The moment the SMA 50 intersects the SMA 200 upwards, it is known as the golden cross. The dead cross, just like the golden cross, consists of the same two moving averages. The only difference is the way the two moving averages intersect. For the dead cross, the 50 SMA crosses the 200 SMA downward. Now how to use these golden and dead crossings in a real trading strategy? The trend is your friend is a stock market wisdom known to many technical investors. And it is precisely in this area that golden and dead crosses can provide added value. In technical analysis, these moving averages are mainly used on the well-known market indices such as the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the Nasdaq to get a picture of the long-term technical trend. In this chart, I show the US index ETFs which are available in Chartmill. If I draw an SMA 50 and an SMA 200 on it, I can see that since mid-2020, approximately in the period between June and August, a golden cross has formed on all indices. This means that from then on, from a technical point of view, the long-term trend has changed from negative to positive. This is important information because it says something about the direction that prices are moving in the broad market context. A typical trend investor will in this case focus purely on looking for buying opportunities when analyzing individual stocks. In the opposite case, when the overall market trend is negative, the technical investor will be a lot more cautious. This can be done by closing open positions or tightening stop losses a bit. Using the golden and dead cross patterns directly as buy or sell signals on individual stocks is not advisable. There are several reasons for this. First of all, the point at which the 50 and 200 SMA intersect upward or downward is quite late especially if that stock is very volatile and the momentum is high, which means price rises or falls strongly and quickly. In that case, the golden or dead cross signal will be delayed. So in many cases, the signal only occurs when the price has already made a fairly significant move. Second, if the price moves sideways in a fairly wide range, it is possible that several golden and dead crosses succeed each other just because the long-term trend has not yet chosen a clear direction. Therefore, it is recommended to use these crossings patterns mainly on indices as an indication of the general price trend and to take this information into account when making individual decisions on specific stocks. Now that we've learned what golden and dead crosses are and how best to use them, it's time to take a closer look at the Chartmill screen capabilities for filtering stocks based on the appearance of such a golden or dead cross. We're also going to save those settings as a personal screen filter, so you can easily recall those settings in the future with a single click. First of all, at the homepage, select the stock screener and then click on the performance tab. We will start with the golden cross. The settings for this signal are defined using the SMA50 tab.
Click on the inverted triangle and then select the following two options in the same menu. SMA50 rising and SMA50 crosses SMA200 from below. So at this stage I have defined that the 50 day moving average must be bullish and that the SMA50 must cross the SMA200 from bottom to top. By doing so we have defined the conditions for the golden cross. Through the general tab I can then add some other filters to refine the results. For example in this case I'm going to exclude all non-US stocks. And besides that all the remaining stocks should have a minimum price of $5 and an average daily volume of at least 300,000. To make the golden cross visible on the chart, select the main chart tab where you add the two moving averages needed to display the golden cross. In this case the 50 and 200 SMA. Now you can see exactly where the 50 SMA cuts the 200 SMA upwards and forms a golden cross. If desired you can add other filters or indicators or change the layout of the chart based on your personal preferences. For example, in this screen result there are two ETFs. If you prefer only individual stocks, you can easily exclude them using the drop down menu under the ETF box in the general tab. And to illustrate, I'm also going to change the chart view from bars to candlesticks. To visualize the dead cross, we just need to change the filters used under the SMA50 menu. Go back to the performance tab. Click in the drop down menu again and uncheck the previous selections. Now select SMA50 falling and SMA50 crosses SMA200 from above. You will immediately see that the number of shares changes due to the changed filters. In contrast to the golden cross there are quite a few more dead crosses shown. That's something to keep in mind. If you notice that each time you use the golden and dead cross screen, there are more stocks with dead crosses than stocks with golden crosses, it could be an indication that the general market trend is changing from positive to negative. And that information alone is very useful to be aware of. To save this filter, click on the disk icon in the upper right corner and provide a name for your screen. In this example, I choose US stocks dead cross, then click on save. If I now select this filter again using the map icon, I will immediately receive the results. Note that only the screen settings are saved. If you also want to quickly save the chart settings in which the 50 and 200 SMA are shown, you also need to save the used chart settings separately. You can do so by using this icon. Recalling a chart setting afterwards is very simple by clicking on the map icon and selecting from the list of previously saved chart settings. This brings us to the end of this video. Remember that golden and dead crosses are especially useful for determining the overall long term trend and to use them effectively in an active swing trading strategy as buy or sell signals they tend to lag too far behind the actual price movement. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and follow us. That will help us tremendously in the development of this channel. Be sure to click the notification bell and select all to ensure you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.